The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, The Son of Man must suffer greatly and be rejected by the elders, the chief priests, and the scribes, and be killed, and on the third day be raised. Then he said to all, If anyone wishes to come after me, he must deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. For whoever wishes to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will save it. What profit is there for one to gain the whole world? yet lose or forfeit himself. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be Jesus and Mary. If anyone wishes to come after me, he must deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. In our readings in this fourth or in this Thursday, fourth day of the week, <laughs> Thursday after Ash Wednesday, we see how important it is our choices and decision. In the first reading, in the book of Deuteronomy, we see Jesus, or the God, asking the, the chosen people to choose between life and prosperity, between death and doom. And, you know, my brothers and sisters, the life of a person depends on his choices. And from that choice comes the decision. And that decision will bear its consequences. That's why, as the first reading is connected with the gospel today, Jesus is telling his disciples, if you want to follow me, this should be your choices. And Jesus is telling that the choice of us as Christians should always be guided by the passion, death, and resurrection of Christ should be always in line with the so-called Paschal mystery of our Lord. No? A true Christian never choose, never decide outside this principle, outside this guide of the life of Christ. That's why no? The Ghan, many Christians fall short and make a bad decision or choices. And that's why they have the bad consequences to live. Because they decide, they decide, and they choose outside that principle, outside that guide which is Christ himself. Kaya nga, importante, especially for us religious, no? to look always to the model, no? to the example, to the guide no? that we have, of course, including our Blessed Mother, 
and Saint Joseph. Because <clears throat> every decision, every choice has its own consequences. And sadly, the devil is not sleeping. The devil always there to corrupt our mind and heart to go out of that guide, of that principle. And kinsaman, unsaman, or what is the devil usually used in order for us to go astray, especially in our choices, in our decision. Ego, ourself. Ay, bakit ka pa magpapakahirap? Madali naman, ito lang, no? See? Why should you sacrifice too much? No? Why should you do penance anymore? Why should you offer such and such? No? No? You already are. No? So the devil pumped us with many, 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 many false promises with many, many beautiful and yet comfortable decisions or choices. Just like right now, no? for us friars and I think also for the sisters, no? we have the matins. We have to wake up at midnight when the bell rang, no? So, your choice is, your decision is to get up. Huh? Although it is very hard, no? because you are still sleepy. Huh? But what will the devil tell you? Ah, no, you are tired. Kapoy huh? kagyud. Ayan na lang, matulog na lang. And what will be your choice? Remember, our choice every day makes us either happy or either sad. Make us at peace or make us at war with our conscience. That's why it's very important you know, every day you know, to really, as we celebrate Mass and as we pray our morning prayer, you know, it, come, it comes to me this morning, no? as I reflect, why is it? Nga man, we pray to our Father every day. No? Why do we pray to our Father in the morning prayer? And even the Mass, the Church includes always you know, that we recite the Our Father in the Mass. Why is it? Because there, at the Our Father, there's the important formula of the day and what it is thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven jesus taught us the prayer of the our father you know, so that you know, we are reminded that our choices should always be guided by him Thy will be done. No? Not our will, no? but His will. No? So that no? our consequence, our life will be at peace. Our life will be happy and contented. No matter how hard the problems, the sufferings we have, because we cannot avoid problems and suffering in this world. But because we choose, we decide with God, together with God, together with our Blessed Mother, we will be able to overcome all things. To be able to respond well those 
problems, those uh, difficult decisions we make. And so, my brothers and sisters, as we start this season of Lent, let us check, make an examination of conscience. Ask ourselves, even myself, am I my decision always guided by Christ, by the principle of Christ, by the virtue of our Blessed Mother, or my decision sometimes you know, is crowded, is influenced by my own self-will and by the temptation of the world, the flesh, and the devil. Praise be Jesus and Mary.